Well, this is an exciting day for me. Haas Tools has decided to include me in their social influencers program. And they have sent me a Haas wheel hoe. This particular one is a double wheel hoe. And not only that, it is a high arch double wheel hoe. Um, and they sent me that. Uh, and I will be doing some videos on it for them. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed and we will assemble this together. So along with the uh, high arch wheel hoe, they sent a number of attachments. They sent two um, six inch oscillating hose, one eight inch oscillating hoe, a set of uh, hiller plows, and a set of sweeps. Woo! I am tickled. Also a set of four cultivator sweeps. So the wheel hoe itself consists of, uh, obviously it's a double wheel, so you got two wheels, you got two um, wheel arms, you have a U-bar, uh, and these are the handle brackets. You got two handle brackets also. And good instructions. Got a nice manual. I have a feeling I'm gonna need that. And of course the handles. Plus all the nuts and bolts and bushings and doodads we're gonna need to put this thing together. The noise you hear outside is rain, and uh, we need it, so that's good. Perfect time to put this together. So these two dust covers go on the outside of this. Hold them in place while you put the wheel arms in there. By the way, those green back brackets Man, that is heavy. Everything in here is heavy. The implements are heavy. It's just heavy duty stuff. They, they ain't playing, okay? They, uh, they ain't playing at all. They got a nylock nut, which is good. Don't have to ever worry about it coming, coming off. Screw the nylock nut on. Put a half inch wrench. Tighten it up. How tight? I'm gonna say there's resistance on it, so I'm going to back off just a little bit. Just a little bit till I just don't feel any. There you go. There's just no or very little resistance on that wheel. So the two wheels are put together. Let's get after the rest of it. Just to reiterate how thick and heavy duty this is. That's quarter inch metal. Everything green, all these green parts. The high arch, all that, quarter inch metal, heavy duty stuff. So the next task is to attach the U-bar, or what, the bar that makes it a high arch, to the wheel arms. I'll do that by bringing carriage bolts in from underneath and then bolting it on. And you want the Haas logo to face you and not the wheels. You want the Haas logo facing this way. And these bolts are carriage bolts, which means they've got a little square here. And that square fits in these squares down here so that bolt won't shift. That's a good sign of a well-designed, well-thought-out, well-engineered product. Once the bolt goes in there, it won't shift back and forth. It's locked in that little square. All right, we'll tighten those four bolts down and then we'll move on to the next procedure. These are 9 sixteenths. If you don't have a ratchet and socket set, you can do it with a 9 sixteenths wrench. Give it a good twist. Next, you'll use four bolts. They've got these bolts well described, lots of good pictures on how to put this together so it's not a problem. So these four bolts, one here like this, the flat part goes up, the bracket, bend in the bracket goes outside. That's how you know you got it turned right. And again, it's got some nylock nuts. 
So once you tighten those, they are tight. Again, that's not something they had to do. They could have just given you some regular nuts. I'm impressed that they are nylock. Maybe I mentioned that. These are the handle brackets. You'll notice that the handle mounts here have a R cut in it and an L cut in it for right and left, let you know which way that goes. I should also mention they sent me what they call their success kit. <clears throat> it's got the uh, some boiled linseed oil for the handles, for all the wooden parts, the handles and the crossbar. Uh, it's got a wrench, it's got a file to keep your implement sharp, and it's got a uh, little sanding sponge. They said apply liberal amounts of the boiled linseed oil. And I did, kind of got it, slopped it here and there and everywhere. But uh, really brings out the grain too, looks nice. We're gonna attach the handles to the handle mounts. Another carriage bolt, goes right there. Since I don't know exactly where I want the handles, whether I'm gonna be comfortable, I'm gonna set it right in the middle of that groove, but it is adjustable to a real high setting or a low setting. So I'm gonna put it right in the middle when I adjust my handles. So a carriage bolt in, and this carriage bolt will slide in that to make your adjustments for your handle height. And to adjust your um, handles to the height that you are comfortable with once you use it, uh, you'll loosen both of these, move it like you want it, tighten them down. And then there's a stabilizer bar that goes down the middle, a spreader bar, I guess. So tap that in there on both sides and then uh, a couple of screws. So there is the wheel hoe itself put together uh, without any implements on it. I think I'm probably gonna put the uh, six inch, the double um, oscillating hose on it and uh, bolt that to it for my first uh, project. Can't wait for it to stop raining and dry up enough where I can get out in the garden with this. Man, this is cool. Let me put the, the hose on it and show you that. So there it is all put together and I am quite impressed with the, with the quality of this. Like I told you, all the green metal, quarter inch steel, uh, wheels, everything. Got the oscillating wheel hose on it. If you haven't used those yet, man, those do a great job in the garden. I uh, can't wait to get out there and do that. This is the uh, plow setup that you'll put on there to either, you can set it up with the plows facing this way to cut a furrow, turn them around where the plows are facing out uh, to throw dirt on your, um, to heal your potatoes, heal your um, corn. Uh, I'll be needing to heal my corn in a couple of weeks. We'll definitely video all that. Uh, sweeps that uh, can be turned in to kind of overlap each other, cut just under the surface to get your weeds or can be turned out to do uh, a wider area so you're not wasting time. Uh, again, the uh, cultivator sweeps. I just put the uh, oscillating hose on there because that's something I know does an excellent job. That will too, all this will. The four extra bolts are, that came with it are for the cultivator teeth. Every implement comes with its own bolts, which I was kind of impressed with also because they don't make you reuse these things. This bolt will stay with that when I take it off and put this plow on or something. It'll stay with it. So all this is uh, 
ready to go uh man i do like it really looks nice and what an upgrade to that <laughs> what an upgrade wow thank you house and thank y'all for watching they make a single wheel a double wheel and then again the high arch double wheel that allows you to work on your crops when they are about 16 18 inches tall that's one reason I said uh, I would rather have the high arch you can get in there and uh, lay your corn by and uh, even tomatoes and stuff like that when it's small when they're uh, you know smaller but shoot tickled to death doggone it looks nice that'll be the end of this video but many more to come on the hoss wheel hoe from that to the cadillac house